Welcome back to Wild Arms 3. 3, 2, 2. This is Wild Arms 2. I have not touched Wild Arms 3. Um, where we last left off, Ashley's back. Um, in fact, we have now seen every character of the game. Uh, multiple times. <laughs> we have not played as every character of the game that yet, though. We're still missing one. Well, looks like everyone's here. Thanks to each and every one of you ARMS members, we're all safely together again. You have truly done well. With the destruction of Odessa and the rescue of Ashley, our strategy against Odessa is over. Thus, I have a new mission for ARMS to complete. Oh yeah, uh, Irving. Uh, what happened while I was gone? Oh, uh, why? What? What's going on? <laughs> Well, the situation is actually just as bad as when you were lost. I think it's been happening slowly for a long time now without any of us realizing. Uh, for a long time? What, what's going on? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, while we were concentrating solely on Odessa, Filgai has been slowly eaten away. Yep. So Filgai is always the world that is slowly dying. Always. No exceptions in any game. The symptoms were first seen in the changes of life forms. First, normal plants and animals started decreasing. Then monsters began to take over. Remember what Vincefield was saying about the monsters? They were not being spawned by Odessa. At least not only being spawned by Odessa. This has never happened well, until now. At first, we thought the decrease in normal plants and animals came with the increase in monsters. But we don't know where the monster plants are coming from. That's the big question. We blindly assumed it was the work of Odessa, but as Vinsfield say, the increase in monster doesn't seem to be the work of Odessa. Doubt he would have lied under those conditions. So that means that a terrible disaster is descending on Filgaia? Habitat loss, climate change. You know, completely fantasy things that are obviously not happening in the year 2020 or 1999, or any of the years in between, or several years before, and anyway. It began with a sighting from the Astronomical Observatory in Selge. Remember, Irving is from the region. The Gaia's deterioration, what uh, sorry, early on, once a small stain fell to the sky and instantly corroded the earth. The ocean lost its glimmer, the land lost its vitality, and eventually... the sky was swallowed. That's right! We no longer have a sky. The phenomenon of Filgaia no longer being, well, Filgaia. We call this the Stain Paradigm. The principles of what make Filgaia Filgaia have been altered. At this rate, everything will be stained, and eventually, even we too will be devoured. The next mission is to investigate and stop Filgaia's stain paradigm. Keep in mind, hints of this have actually have been dropped in Disc 1. This is not a giant space flea out of nowhere. This is actually things that have been discussed quite a bit. It's just that I only see them now replaying through the game, and I didn't even notice them the second time I replayed through the game. It's this time that I've noticed. Hmm, pardon me. Uh, the situation now seems stable for now. The uh, situation seems stable for now, but who knows what's next. For the sky to have been devoured. This follows what the chief of the Baskar village told us in his dream. Maybe it meant this. Yes, I think you're right. Maybe it's time for you to go sacrifice your own life, like it was already prophesized. Maybe a guardian would have sent something of the scale concerning all Filgaia. All right, then let's go to Baskar Village, and maybe we'll get a clue there. Irving's still a dick. Irving, um... So I talked to your goddess, just saying, uh, that you're actually a descendant of the Sword Magus. I didn't mean to hide it, I just never had time to bring it up. One more thing. The other self inside me 
that's Lord Blazer. Uh, the demon called the Blaze of Disaster, the one that killed everybody in Vulgaia a thousand years ago. Oh, I descended to this Magus and the embodiment of the Blaze of Disaster. In other words, we're enemies. Well, you're honest about it at least. You're probably right. Maybe I should leave. I don't want to end up hurting anybody. Especially not with this power. Right now, we need all the firepower we can muster. Even Lord Le Blazer's power can help Fulgaia. I expect you to use it as so. Also... Also... what? Raise? You took me on for such an emergency, right? You may be possessed by the Blaze of Disaster, but I am descended the Sword Magus. I will not shy away about exercising that demon if I must. Don't forget it. We're here to help. Don't try to do everything yourself. Depending on your friends is a good idea in battle, you know. We may not be that strong, but as one we can do anything. Let us fight together, Ashley. Everyone. You don't need to worry about the Lord Blazer lurking within. I, too, will look into it myself. I hear of ruins called the Grotto of Lords, which holds records of the wars. Maybe we should visit. Good. You will meet with the people of Baskar and also gather information at Lords. I leave the order of operations to you, but we must need... We need that information. This is the part of the game that we are open world. However, I believe we need... We, as in this particular run needs to do things in a very, very specific order. And this is absolutely not the order that I did this in the first time I played the game. Not even close. Yeah, I still haven't gone back and done the save in between. So I'm going to pause recording this for a moment and make a backup of that save file. One moment. And back with it saved. All right. So that was the elevator. Damn it. I need to go out, not in. So we are going to go to the Grotto of Lords first. Oh, uh, actually, first thing we're going to do is go get Ashley forgetful again. We won't have to do this too much longer. Um, actually, no, we've got a couple of other things we should do first. As well, for, as well not just first. How it goes? I've recorded so many of these in advance. This is actually still the 11th of November for me. Um... Notice that there's a new walkabout theme. There's multiple of them in the game, and this isn't even the last one. I do like this walkabout theme, though. So, first, Silver Lion Castle. Traps, man traps. Hey, boo. You're in so many of these videos. I wonder if I can do a count as to which videos have which cat in them. I wonder how balanced it is. I bet Isun shows up the least, even though he's out and about the most. Just because he tends to be the one that just goes down stairs. Or downstairs. Below the computer desk.
I don't even think they can hurt Ashley at this point. Okay. Thank you, Gareth. I've recorded a lot of these on the same day. It's a little weird, but that's okay. Uh, you can tell from what shirt I'm wearing. I'm, this is just like a swag shirt. Um, but I'm not showing off any of the swag part, so I don't feel too bad about wearing it. Okay, next up. We've got a couple more guardians that we can now handle. By handle, I mean just felt too. Hovercraft. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to that island that's sitting on the bottom of the map. Because there's stuff actually here now. There's stuff up there, too. I thought I could just walk there from the region. I can. The hell am I doing? It's actually, that is actually where the Grotto of Lords are. Okay. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I think I can just kill these at this point. No, I can't. That was a mistake. Wait. Lilka does more damage than cannon on a melee attack? Are you serious? Oh, well, uh, cannon does have a really crappy everything right now. But yes. Lilka does more damage on a melee attack than cannon. This is really sad. Really, really sad. Oi. It's really hard to control while you're fast forwarding. Go. Can I even land here anywhere? That tip definitely has something. I hit cancel, damn it. The hell are you? Melusine. Uh, okay. We can against fire. Fire ring. Die in a fire. Or die in flames. Take your pick. They're not weak against fire at all. That was frost. Oh well, doesn't matter. They're dead anyway. Alright. There's a beach around here, right? Yeah, that crater is new for reference. So the world map is actually different. Meteorite crater. Yep, a meteorite fell and slammed into Filgaia. And yes, there is in fact a secret boss here. Oh, why are you not falling? Water drip.
Mold gnomes. Mold gnomes, really? Mold gnome. These are weak against fire. Okay. Mold gnomes are dead. Thank you to confusion, so I figured just kill them fast. Earth groan. The dungeon design of this place is a little weird in my mind. Where do you take me? Not where I wanted to go. Okay. I think that means I might want to fall here. One of the spots I wanted to fall. Pitch dark. Yeah, this is going to be the point of the game where most random encounters are completely uneventful for me. But we're also going to have to go back and deal with a lot of random things. Ah, oh, Luca leveled up. That's nice. I still haven't done the Let's Analyze Personal Skills, but I'm waiting on our final member of the party to do that. Thunderclap! like the style of puzzle where I have to figure out where to fall, and the reason why I don't like it isn't because of bad spatial placement so much as this game's really bad at trying to place physical locations down on things. I needed to go lower. Cool. And because Ashley's in the party, I have a high random encounter chance. You're a troll. So are so many internet people. Trolls have uh, mega berries for pickpocketing. And that's not bad. Oh yeah. How are we on speed? <sighs> Cannon still goes before him. Nothing I can do can make that change. Oh well. Cannon, get rid of the troll. Lilka, get rid of the treakers. I mean, um, what are they actually called? Mold gnomes. that I need to go down? Yes. Light flash! As opposed to dark flashes. Ah, uh, that looks suspicious. Nope, can't do anything about that yet. Okay. That definitely looks suspicious, though. You agree with me, right? Too many items.
Okay. Now I've got all the holes in this room, but I need the holes in the other room. Like I need to figure out how to get to there. Which is just like this, that's fine. Fire range, and that one's going to be a fall into hole. Higher somehow, okay. Awesome. So that switch is actually where I need to go. Is that the right spot for it? That mystic fire, the other things. There we go. Fast forward because it's the exact same random encounter repeatedly. I mean, it's giving me lots of XP and money, but I don't really need either of that. Now I can go to there. Kind of want to move all of those items up at the top of the list because of how often I'm using them. I mean, we've entered the era of those two can handle almost every normal random encounter at this point. And they'll be able to continue doing that forever, probably. This one, maybe? Yes. Zephyr Claw. There's a guardian. I am Rigdabright. I've come very far. I'm the guardian of the stars. Bloop. Guess what we're equipping onto Tim. Whenever you need me, call. I'll come flying. But don't eat me. I don't understand the but don't eat me part. Probably reference in Japanese. Rigdobrite is lots of attack power and speed. It is absolutely not the correct thing for Tim, except Valkyrie and Cosmic Ray. Those are non-elemental attacks. And notice that Cosmic Ray is a 75 force point ability. So we're gonna have that on for the next 20 battles. Also, there's still one treasure chest left, and it's going to bother me. I probably could have gotten it with Puka, couldn't I? I always forget about Puka. Mostly because Puka's a terrible character and easily forgettable. Oh crap, that means I need more kills on Tim. Ah. Uh, what are trolls weak against? Fire and lightning, okay. Cannon needs to be equipped with Bengalon. There we go. Butte. 
pickpocket troll. Mystic and light the other group on fire. Might as well pick up some Mega Berries while I'm at it, right? Okay, that still works. Cool. Yeah, I bet this is just a case of I actually need to... Yep. I see how. Why do I not like Puka? Snowflake! Oh, I remember now. Okay. Man, I wish I had a teleport ability to get out of here quickly. Okay, I need to somehow get back over there. This one will let me. Yeah, this is the exit, right? I got mirror image. Although this also gets me to the exit, so it's fine. Um. Spoiled brat! Stone javelin! Oof. Oh, you can actually just, um, napalm hit the rest. Might as well try, and might as well heal him. Three kill, or four kills total now. Six more to go. Yep, here's the entrance. Ah. Okay, yes, there is a ramp down. Ugh, this dungeon. All right, and I am going to grab that yellow thing which is over here. Right, they're easy enemies. I should be fighting them. It's at that peninsula. Oh, that's right. It's on a little island. Never mind. I can't do anything about that right now. I surprised them. Babaloo? You look like you have keys. Does that mean that you drop duplicators? You can be pickpocketed with duplicators. Oh, this changes things. So this is what um, the ability I just gained does. So it allows you to use an artifact, which allows you to have an elemental attack. It's a lot like using Mystic plus a ring, only it's not area of effect. However, we're pickpocketing. It's a weak magic attack, that's fine. Your physical attacks are not scary. Why are they weak against Earth? See, it's a single target, so it's not the greatest. I think it might actually be the same damage as his normal attack, so it's not useful at all on Tim, but I want to try it. Uh, you need to pickpocket the next one. You still have not successfully dug out. Okay, second duplicator. Peppy acorn. Meh. Earth grown! Bonk, bonk, bonk. No, that's actually significantly more powerful. What the heck? Okay. 
That's weird. Okay, we've got somebody poisoned. Eh. It'll be fine. I mean, okay. Well, let's just confirm. Rock Dolt. Pickpocket the last one. Loka, just go ahead and restore yourself. Alright, got all the duplicators. Sweet. Rock Dolt. Yeah, no, no, it actually does more damage. That is weird. I mean, I don't need to do more damage, so it's not that big of a deal, but still weird. Um, you're down 400, you're down 600. Ish. Neat. Like, they were playing with keys. I thought they might have actually had nifty things. Good to know. I did not realize that there was something else that dropped keys like that. Ooh, what are you? Flauros. Flauros, you have... Jack Squat. Don't hit you with darkness. Okay. Let's drip some water on you, because you look fiery. Might as well. They don't have anything good on them. I think it's just heal berries, but still. Whee! There we go. This'll do. Everybody's healed up. Whee! I think I'm at nine. So I need one more. Yep, one more. Till I get the first level. Also, how are people's luck? It's actually really good for luck, because I really don't care about Ashley. Okay. Now that we've done that, uh, actually, I should probably just teleport, shouldn't I? What am I doing? It is with the hovercraft. Oi. There we go. Grotto of Lords! This is a special dungeon. Also, this is best dungeon music. I'm turning it up slightly for me. You don't get much of an echo. Retinal Panar does not match. Entry beyond this point is prohibited! No pattern match found. Welcome, you with Magus blood. This is where your sleeping memory will wake. That's right. Canon really is a descendant of the Sword Magus. So I think what it is is that it's different halves of the family. There's a safe point right here. We have done a significant amount, so let's go ahead and save now. Yeah, cannon's pretty much everything in this dungeon. I don't think you use anyone else, basically. Okay. 
Not that it's not going to stop me from using Ashley, because of course I am. Alright, we have two Iceman and a Horned Monster. What are you? Wise man, they're weak against electricity, and you can pick pocket Mega Berries from them. They also drop spoons. Horn monsters, they're weak against air, and you can pick pocket heal berries. Okay, which means air. That is Zephyr Claw. Yeah. Cannon, pickpocket, a wise man, Lilka, just dig. Yes, please. Valkyrie can now be used. They can actually hurt. Oh, right, they cast Hype Weapon. That's a problem. That's a really big problem. Clap. I don't remember which one was actually the one that got hype weaponed. I think it might have been the second one and not the first one, but... I'll just do it this way to be careful. Oh. It's not like I can't steal Mega Berries later. Zap. So much damage. Makes me wonder if that actually is the correct guardian for Tim for now. Not that I'm using the base attack, but... Alright, so. This lava. Every time that you step on the lava, you take 200 hit points of damage. Is there something specific that I need to do here? Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember how to do this now. It's just been a long time. Welcome to the skates. Rad blades. Rad blades are for cannons use. Press square to use the rad blades to erase damage that you receive from the ground and allow for rapid motion. Once used, you cannot change direction or stop until you've made contact with something. It's really straightforward if I'm remembering correctly. It's not really a puzzle dungeon. I mean, it sort of is, but sort of isn't. Mm. Memories. This, this is. Hey, you, where are you going? Mother has to work now, so she said she'll go somewhere else to play, she said. There's nothing up ahead. Turn around now. When I got home, my mother was there with some man I didn't know. In my house. It's no place for me. That's impossible. You are... Aisha. I should burn it dead. Cannon, what is this? I'm sorry. It'll work next time. It'll be fine. This is where I should burn memories are. 
it is not a good set of memories. Put it mildly. Yay, skates. Right. Nice and simple. Mother. Aisha, you must listen now. Regardless of the kind of life that you're living, or regardless of the kind of life you're living, we have the blood of the sword mattress. No matter how difficult life gets, forget not the blood of the Sword Magus. Descended from the Sword Magus and related to the Valerias, the Bernadettes are having hard times. If I can provide proof of the blood in me, I can live the life of nobility. I don't want to know the memory of the self I threw away. If I have the blood of the Sword Magus in me, then awaken that memory. Cannon? Don't worry. I'll awaken memories regarding Lord Blazer. Be careful you don't get killed by me then. Now we have to grapple hook all the way back. But you'll notice that there's basically no random encounters. Because um, I'm using tools almost the entire time. Trixie on me. I knew one of those had that, and I couldn't remember where. Alright. Let me go this way first. Gotta be picky about the direction that you're facing. That way you don't bump into lava. More memory time! This is pretty much everything we get out of Cannon's backstory, which is sad to me. <laughs> they were killed. They were killed, right? And I survived. If I can exercise the monsters, then I could become a hero. I could become a hero fitting to the Blood of the sword matches flowing in me. I can't see out of my right eye. Parts of my body won't move, but I can manage with an artificial arm and a leg. Got it. I'll get reborn into a body that knows no pain. My body and my name. I have to throw away my old self. That's right. This is me. I won't deny it, it's a fact. But, Sword Magus' blood is in my body is a fact too. Reawaken! Memories of the Sword Magus. It's okay. Wah, wah, wah. No problem. It's been awakened in me, the memory of the Sword Magus. Cannon has awakened from her uh, awakened from her blood the memories of the Sword Magus, which were of the Guardian Blade, the Argent Lamb, in the hands of the goddess. 
from the future rulers, the Guardian's body was born into the sword, the Arcanthlam. The sword is a type of spirit response weapon that changes the user's will to battle strength. The oppressive power consumes the user's spirit, so one with a strong spirit is chosen. Anastasia applied the Guardian Blade, Arcathlam, with the strongest of human wills, Desire. Are you really alright? I think that's supposed to be canon, just like tears cr going down her face type of thing. One's capacity for memory simply was overloaded with information. Hey, thanks. Sorry to have worried you. This is one of those situations where I think what I'm seeing is a bad translation, but I can't actually tell. Okay. This is the tricky one. Aha. This is where I need to puka. I still would have. It would have bothered me by not doing that. Oh yeah, I actually have to hook to this side. There we go. Should have just done through the middle, but that's fine. There's more. Ah, damn it. I almost got it. I was trying to be tricksy. I can't go above. Kind of the only place I can go. I mean, yes, please. Crest. Big Berry. Big Berry. Gimme. Lucky card. Really don't understand why that's a wooden box there, but sure. Oh, right. I am remember now. Because it's a, you, making use ability you haven't used in a long time. Kick. Don't understand really, but sure, why not? All right, more memories. Cannon is awakened from her blood, the memories of the sword matches, which was about the far distant past when Filgaia was burned by the blaze of disaster, Lord Blazer. The demon, Lord Blazer, who plies the scorching hellfire by thought, scorching hellfire by thought, takes in all the wrath sorrow and negative feelings of people and grows fat as a curse called God. Each time the hellfire is waved, a hundred wraiths and a thousand sorrows are born, surpassing a new threshold. Those possessing flesh and blood consume flesh and blood to come into being. Those who consume emotions, in other words, hearts, stay shaped that way. They destroy beings of similar substance. Physical forms taken by spirits and form similar Subs of similar substance also need to be cut by the spirit's blade. The Argid Lamb could destroy Lord Blazer because both were beings of a similar substance. Ashley, concealed within you and controlled by you is the Lord Blazer. Living with Lord Blazer, you were able to take on the Argid Lamb, which was all dependent on your spirit. In other words, heart. My heart? I, I can't feel it. It's not clear. It's kind of only a vague sensation. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Yes. 
but the equilibrium could collapse at any time and lapse into an uncontrollable situation. The power to save the world and power to destroy the world. Either way, you're on a tightrope between two overwhelming powers. Do never forget this. This isn't really anything that hasn't already been said. Which again, I'm a little confused by overall. Straight ahead. Just go straight. New area. Mm -hmm. Not really. All right. Big berry. Mini carrot. Why I would get that that way, I'll just use Puka. Finally a new weapon for Ganon. Ganon has so few weapons in this game. I think it's like five, four, something like that. Holy crap, it's a random encounter. The hell are you? A Voidra. Voidra, Voidra. Voidra, you're weak against everything. Okay. And I can pick a pocket Mega Berry from you. So, we're going to say that you're going to get hit by... Snowflake. You're going to be pickpocketed. I'm oh, sorry. You're going to be pickpocketed and... Uh, what was the last one we against? Was it wind? Air, yeah, wind. That's okay. Snowflake. Bong. Like I said, so few enemies in this dungeon. And it's not just because of the way I'm doing it. It's mostly because this is the way the dungeon's set up. Well, this is the big one. I wonder if it's the veto from the Bernadette side. Suspicions have finally been cleared. I'm now confident that the blood of the sword magus flows within me. Please, a little more. I'd rid this body if I could die a hero. Canada is awakened from her blood, the memories of the Sword Magus, which are of the Blaze of Disaster, Lord Blazer, who will burn the world. The reason Anastasia couldn't completely destroy Lord Blazer is, ironically, due to the humans from the world one was to protect. Negative feelings will end the world of humans. No matter how much Anastasia branded, brandished the power of the spirit, with only one person's heart in the face of Lord Blazer's rebirth, it was a wasted effort. This sounds like a bad translation of something, but this will come up later. Basically, Anastasia lost and could only trap Lord Blazer because Anastasia was the only person left with any desire to live. So remember, we heard from Anastasia herself that that was the reason why she grabbed the sword. It's because nobody else would. Nobody else was willing to actually do anything about it. And that's how she became a hero, the one that was to be sacrificed to make sure that everybody else was okay rather than everybody chipping in to help. As a last resort, Anastasia, in exchange for her life, trapped Lord Blazer beyond the event horizon to protect Vilgaia. But as long as negative feelings continue, the chains that bind could be released and Lord Blazer could revive, leading to a future of uncertainty. The one who can say it with certainty is Ashley. Lord Blazer hidden within you is attempting a revival by trying to break the chains that bind. Fleeing from the event horizon and hiding in your body was his first step toward res resurrection. 
I wasn't sure how to say that with a southern accent. Or more like a western accent. By the way, I'm not quite speaking with a southern accent. What I'm trying to do is give an accent more like a gospel preacher. Um, prosperity gospel for the U.S. Um, and more of a Wild West-ish theme, because really, Cannon's the closest thing in this group to somebody who actually fits in the Wild West. Ashley being a close second, I guess. Lord Blazer's in my body? Ew. You have any symptoms? Uh, any. Aches, fever, cough? Uh, the incident that we were caught in the ex Heimdall Gazo explosion. Um, yeah, something kind of blew up at that point. Oh. Gat 3. This force ability allows for a variety of level 3 attacks against a single enemy. Yeah, this dungeon was technically optional. That's it. There's nothing else. And if I remember correctly, there's actually nothing else to Cannon's story, which sucks. Cannon is such a cool character and got wasted. I'm used, just using this area to save because this is the end of the video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video of Cannon Explains It All. Wait, there's stuff that I missed. Hold on a moment. Um... Yeah, there's stuff that I missed. What the hell? I did not know of any such stuff. Okay. Corner of the room nearest the door and face northward. Northwood. Northward. At the This corner. No. Okay. Two chests, big berry and mini carrot. Use Puka to grab a mangage out of the chest. Yep, got that. Did I miss a door? I must have missed a door. Blast! Damn it.
and race level 32. Cool. Okay. Now, if you move to the corner of the room nearest the door and face northward, you should see a door below. Oh! I definitely did not notice that before. Holy crap. going to be dead from anything that I do, so. Should have been healing while I was doing this. Anyway, this was going to be a shorter one, but apparently I never knew about this existence. Which, holy crap. What the hell? I never knew this place existed. Pretty sure I would have remembered something like that. Four duplicators. What the hell? I definitely never knew about that. I would have remembered that. Wow. I guess there are some things I didn't know about the game. Anyway, we're going to save here and exit. Hope you've enjoyed our uh, first and last bit of backstory from canon. And... Oh, um, should mention, it's heavily implied but never actually stated that canon's mother was a prostitute. Uh, that's the reason for the fell on hard times bit, and you couldn't quite tell from her outfit, but it was more like a courtesan's outfit. So, that's a thing. I think it's actually said in, like, was it an audio blog or something? Something exterior to Wild Arms 2. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!